Once upon a time, in the land of Sagami, a little boy named Kintaro lived in Mount Ashigara. He was a healthy boy who wore nothing but a red waistcoat and ran around the mountains carrying an axe. Mother, I got some wood! Good boy. It's dinner time. Let's eat! Um... <laughs> Kintaro lived with his kindly mother. His father was said to be a red dragon that lived in the sky. Kintaro was friends with the mountain animals. Today, they made a wrestling ring in the field and are having a wrestling match. He's hanging in there. <laughs> mm. <laughs> The strongest of the animals was the great big bear. One by one, he sent the other animals flying out of the ring. And now it's my turn! Don't cry when I send you flying! Ready? Go! <laughs> Next, they had a tug of war. It's all of us against Kentaro now, and we can't lose. That's it, pull, pull! You can't do it, pull him back! Kintaro and his friends often had races. Today, they're racing each other to the top of the mountain. <coughs> Wait up! <coughs> All right, we're almost there. Now it's time to really cut loose. Come on, 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 One hot summer day, they went swimming at a pond. Ready, go! While Kintaro was swimming, a giant carp who owned the pond appeared. If it isn't Kintaro, even you can't beat me in the water then. Oh, yes, I can. Well, then, try and catch me if you can. Whoa! All right! Come on over here. Wait up! He's still on my tail. Rather tenacious, isn't he? Oh, I'm tired. Gotcha! He caught me there! The surprised carp jumped high into the air with Kintaro on his back. Kintaro was also a very kind-hearted boy. When his mother's eyes went bad, he carried her on his back to a spa known to cure eye problems. Kintaro, have a rice ball. It's okay. I'm not hungry. You can eat my share, Mother. Along the way, Kintaro carved an image of a child god on a rock with his fingernails. Please cure my mother's eyes. And so his mother's eyes instantly recovered. One day, there was a storm on peaceful Mount Ashigara. 